What's going on guys, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm gonna be telling you my top five must-do mods for not just this car, but any car in my opinion. And uh, you know, if you don't agree, let me know in the comments down below, what do you think is the top five must-dos for you? What did you do first on your car? Do you have any regrets? And uh, yeah, we can, we can see how close we are or far off, but I'm gonna get straight into it with number one, suspension, I think. Regardless if you know you want to make your car low, if you want to lift your car, if you've got a four-wheel drive or whatever it may be, suspension is my number one. So as you can see with mine, I've gone rear bags, front adjustable coilovers. That's just my preference. I did it for practicality reasons. My driveway is ridiculously steep, so that's the only reason I went rear bags. In hindsight, I wish I had have allowed for full bags because now I wish I did, but that's only just because it looks cool. But that's that's my own choice it i love the current setup uh, so whether you know you just want to get lowering springs coilovers full bags whatever it may be i think suspension is the number one mod because you can have a completely stock car slam it and it'll immediately look cooler so that's why i think it's my number one moving on to number two wheels now this can you know mean rim tires I'm going to put it as one, just the wheels. I've gone work Kiwamis, as you can see under my armpit there. Uh, I love them, they're my personal favourite wheel, tied with one other, which I'm not going to say because I might eventually get them on the Falcon. But, you know, you've done step one, you've lowered your car, or lifted it. Number two for me, which is a no-brainer, is to get wheels. Now, if you're four-wheel drive, you've now lifted your car, what you know what do you do next you get some nice rims and some big chunky tires same thing with these cars i think you know lower it get some nice wheels get some good tires depending on what you actually want if you you know obviously performance and grip get some nice sticky tires for what i'm doing i've only got cheap like 90 dollar tires on the rear because i don't want grip and you know it all comes down to how you want to drive your car what you use it for those two alone suspension and you know wheels tires can completely transform how your car feels on the track, on the road, just hands down, you know, all over. If you get it set up right, if you get good tyres, all that sort of stuff, it'll be an absolute game changer for, for how the car feels and, you know, overall how much you enjoy it. So they're my top two. Again, you can have a completely stock car, you know, as slow as they come. And if you're slammed with some nice wheels, immediately people are going to start looking and and that's why I think it's top two. So moving on to number three, exhaust. Who doesn't like a loud exhaust? I know I do, that's why I've gone for a screamer pipe, but exhaust must do, you know, you don't have to have a fast car, but you know, everyone wants to hear their, their cool car. So whether it's just, you know, muffler delete, cat back, full exhaust, whatever, I think exhaust overall is, is a must. funny I say this as my top three first mod I did with my car was suspension exhaust and while that was happening I was waiting for my wheels to rock up so my first three mods that I did do to this car were suspension wheels and exhaust so I'm not just saying it I I have actually done exactly this moving on to number four which it completely comes down to what car you're in for the Falcons I think it's a sort of obvious choice the LED conversion for the headlights now they have the full headlight fog light interior light reverse lights everything whether or not you want to go down that path and, and do everything I have I wouldn't go back but it's something that sort of gets overlooked and probably isn't really expected to be in the top five must do but I think it, one cosmetic wise it just looks so much cooler than the dirty yellow headlights and fog lights I don't like that look at all however with the LED fog lights and headlights I just think it looks so cool and branching off of that again I've also got the custom headlights with the halos around uh, both the fog lights and the headlights that's pretty common to do now so I guess we you can sort of wrap that up you know all as one but yeah headlights 
or just lights in general. You know, a lot of people are doing underglow now. I think I was like one of the first Falcons. I think I was the first Falcon I know of that had underglow. Um, unfortunately for me, I drove through the rain and obviously didn't use enough silicon and they fell off on the side. So I just, they were just dangling right where it's sitting now. They were dangling down the side. So I just unplugged it all and, and took it all off. But lights in general, whether it's your interior lights, which people have been doing lately, uh, the LED headlight conversion, like tail light, reverse, all that sort of stuff. Uh, the custom halos that people are starting to do, the custom tail lights now, which are pretty cool. I just think lights can be an absolute game changer cosmetically. And just driving now, like the, the difference from the old lights to the new ones at night time is just crazy. It's so much better now and I'm glad I did it way back when, when I did. So that's number four. And that is going to lead us to my fifth and final must do, which a lot of people, you know, some people will agree with it, some people don't and it is ceramic coating now i've had this car ceramic coated before i got it wrapped on just the paint absolute game changer with all the photos i got of the car washing the car just general maintenance keeping it clean just 10 times better and not only that just like right now i haven't washed that in about four days now maybe and you can still see behind me like it's just shining in the sun it is just unreal now of course you still do have to wash it. I still bucket washed it like the other night for the car meet that I went to. But overall, it just stays, it, the dust doesn't stick to it as much. When it is dusty, you usually can get away with just doing a snow foam and not having to do a full bucket wash. A lot of people, you know, prefer the wax and, and all that sort of stuff. It, it's completely your preference. I know people that have done the wax and, and it comes up awesome, but for me, ceramic coating you just can't go wrong if you've been watching the channel a while you know i had this done from the boys at details awesome awesome setup they've got a light tunnel if you want to get it done hit them up on instagram and tell them i sent you and your car can look that shiny and you'll get some cool photos he's got yeah a awesome shop that he does it in in his uh in his shed and you won't regret it so ceramic coating is absolutely a game changer i love it it's ceramic coated now ceramic coated under the wrap wouldn't go back any car i get from now i will ceramic coat it's probably going to be the first thing i do when i get another car uh, when Gemma gets her new car that's going to be ceramic coated it's just hands down unreal it, you won't go back if you get it done trust me on that so that wraps up my top five must do mods if you don't agree again let me know in the comments let me know what you think yours is what you don't agree with mine i'm happy to hear any feedback and and you know have a bit of conversation about it in the comments and yeah so again number one suspension two wheels three exhaust four lights and five ceramic coating so it's my top five again just my opinion you don't have to agree with it you may have a completely different but that's just what i think that's what i've done and yeah i hope you enjoy the video if you do want to do any of them let me know i'll try and help you in the comments and send you to places of wheels like wherever whatever way i can help I'm happy to do so, so thank you for watching this video, I hope you enjoyed it, and I will see you in the next one. Please consider liking, commenting, and subscribing, you know how it goes, I will see you in the next one, peace.